what is up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are doing a straight to curly routine um this is two week hair um there's gel in it it's gross so it is time to wash it um so first things first we're just going to completely drench our hair i do have low porosity hair so it definitely does take a little bit of time to make sure my whole head is completely soaked and drenched um especially the roots um this is just me looking to make sure that it actually is curling back because i haven't straightened my hair in five years so this was definitely a little nerve-wracking for me um but first things first i do detox with this um head and shoulders apple cider vinegar i just kind of use this as my pre-poo um and then just get all the product literally from my scalp all the gel that i've used um to do like silk back buns for the past couple of days um and just kind of like pre-poo my hair so that's what i'm doing here and i really love this you definitely feel like a little tingle from the apple cider vinegar and this is one of i think three of my like pre-poo so i do love this product Next, I am going to be using the Raw Sugar, their Bounce Back Shampoo. Um, I just love the way this shampoo specifically makes me feel. I do have three different shampoos. This is one more time me checking to see that my hair is going to curl up once product's in it. We're all good to go. Um, I didn't realize how many weird facial expressions I would make in this video, but just ignore that. Um, with time comes practice. Um, but I basically just shampooing my hair. Um, I think I did two run throughs um with shampoo in my hair um just to make sure it was squeaky squeak squeaky clean before i moved on to conditioner um and yeah i haven't washed my hair in two weeks and this is also my first time straightening my hair in five years so i definitely wanted to like do a good run through this time and make sure i got literally everything i know people say not to take the shampoo all the way down to your ends but I don't know how I feel about that yet. I think it's kind of silly. I feel like the shampoo is going to get on your ends anyway. So you might as well literally bring it down and make sure that your ends are getting cleaned as well. Um, just as much as your, you know, root of your hair. But that's just me. Um, next, I am going to be using the Scott Moisture. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love this product. Um, this is their Shea Moisture's Aloe Butter. Um, my hair really soaks up this product but i've used this product about maybe five or six times at this point and i am in love with this conditioner um it leaves you moisturized without leaving that like streak of like cleanness if that makes sense um so i absolutely love this product um and this is right now my only active product from shea moisture i do love shea moisture but i usually like will use products based on what my hair needs and this is just what my hair needed I use my Tingle Teaser. I've had this Tingle Teaser for a really long time and I really, really love this brush. Um, I do have thyroid issues and if for anyone who has thyroid issues, um, one of the terrible things that comes with thyroid issues is your hair gets naughty. When I mean naughty, like you could literally detangle your hair and the minute you get out of the shower, there's a huge knot in it um, that you definitely detangled but just appeared. So I definitely love this brush. It's like the only brush that truly detangles my hair. Um, so I will definitely just run through my hair with this brush, try to get top to bottom um, and truly detangle my hair. I'll do this maybe like three times or just until I feel like I'm fully detangled. Um, but I do like split in sections and then once I've detangled from bottom to top Then I'll just run it down all the way down the middle then get like the kitchen area um, so yeah, that's just My routine for like how I detangle my hair um, But yeah, I will definitely detangle um, A couple of times over and then I will also do it when I am running The like getting the conditioner out of my hair. I will then take my brush and this gives me the comfort that everything is fully detangled no matter what because once I run the brush through my hair and water is also going through my hair, getting the conditioner out, it just is like butter, like silky smooth. I'm for certain that there are no tangles in my hair whatsoever. Um, so I definitely will run the brush through my hair with the conditioner in it to get it out. Um, but yeah. Now I'm going to be doing the Miel hair mask. I love this hair mask. This is currently the only hair mask that I'm using. Um, I have gotten so much growth from the Miel hairline. You guys know I love my oils. Um, so I use the oil from them. And then I've been using their CMOS oil that they just, they just launched. Um, so I love their line. Um, and this 
mask and this conditioner deep conditioner is everything um after using the shea moisture like moisture conditioner and then putting this right on top my hair was the softest it has ever been in quite some time um, I think my hair definitely missed the curls from being straight so my hair was super 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 easy to manage and it was super super soft so I definitely just run the product all throughout my hair scalp top to bottom and I will let this sit in my hair for a while um, this is me just checking and making sure in the refinder that everything looks good um, and then again I will detangle using my tangle teaser brush um, I got this on their website when it first first came out that's how long I've had this brush for um, but I know it's also at Ulta um, and at Target um, if you are looking for this specific brush it's good for curly hair specifically um, but I love this brush um, I then just detangle all the conditioner through my hair um, and then let it sit for a little bit And you guys, I love to twist my hair when I put it in a bun. It just lets me know that literally every strand of hair from top to bottom has product in it by twisting. Um, and then I'll put it in a bun. I even do that when I'm like doing my styled buns, not just when I have like product in my hair to shampoo and condition. Um, I love twisting. It just lets me know that everything's being touched basically. Um, and then I will go ahead and rinse out my deep conditioner. Um, let make sure everything is thoroughly out of my hair. I usually have a hard time getting the product out of my roots because that's just where I feel like a lot of the product likes to sit most of the time. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my curly hair routine. Um, my, my curls definitely bounce back. I love the way they look. Um, moisturized, conditioned, detangled. So um, this is my curly hair routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and let me know if you would like a curly to straight routine um or anything like that i haven't shaped my hair in so long and this is the first time in five years but i wouldn't mind doing it um but yeah we are on the road to long defined curly hair So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.